my friends. Oh my goodness. I have missed you all. Sorry for the delay. But it is Wednesday. And we're back here. Welcome back to Josie Says Posta Cabron. Um, it's Wednesday, like I said. New episode. Apologies a thousand times, times a thousand. I got really busy last week. Life happened and I didn't have a podcast for you guys. Thank you all of you guys who reached out to me and asked about Wednesday podcast. It means a lot. It means you guys are listening and it means that you guys actually like what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's get this started, guys. Today's stack out on situation. We are talking about la suegra, the mother-in-law. Ooh. But before I continue with the good cheese man, uh, I want to remind you guys that if you haven't done so, go over to Instagram, look up Josie Says, Posta Cabron. Add me, follow me. That way you can give me all your thoughts and comments in regards to this and other episodes. So if you guys do follow me on Instagram and if you guys are family members that follow me on Facebook, I did put out this Takabron situation out there and it's about a listener who was having issues with her suegra and how, you know, those issues are going to eventually lead to her divorce. Um, So... She wrote me a lengthy DM. She's asking me, you know, give me advice or do you have advice or can you ask your listeners to give me advice? And then I messaged her back and asked her, you know, what's going on? You know, I need a little bit more. Can I read your response on my podcast? And she said, absolutely, because at this point she's willing to try anything. And then so I wrote, I, I, um, I, I paraphrase it (laughs) i made it shorter for you guys but you know in a nutshell this is what she um says you know that she has a mother-in-law from hell she butts in in everything they do she said let me give an example my daughter has been diagnosed with asthma she's doing well now but when my husband let her know about our daughter's asthma she immediately started pointing fingers at me your cat is the reason she has asthma you leave the house or you let her leave the house without a sweater this and that and everything you could think of she pointed fingers at me and then my husband who was like no you know it's not the cat it's nothing as soon as she starts talking about it in front of me he changes his opinion and says yeah you know what it might be the cat and next thing you know we're having a conversation about getting rid of my cat and it's like no we're not getting rid of my cat because before your mom came here you were fine with you know what i was saying that it's not the cat it's not that she leaves without a sweater it's none of the above she's like another example is um when we were buying her house she demanded that she went with us and um i said no we are buying the house therefore she cannot come to see the house because I already knew she was going to have an opinion about everything and sure enough it happened the house we currently live in I am in love with capital letters it is my perfect house but because it is not the house that she liked and wanted us to buy she has something to say every time she comes over your house smells like food if you weren't to if you were to buy the other house you wouldn't have this problem oh it's too hard to go up the stairs la otra casa was a one story and much better you get the point i could go on and on and on but you get the picture the worst part about this is that as soon as she has an opinion my husband opinion changes to her opinion and it's a sure fight what do you think What do you think? And can you ask your listeners for some advice? (laughs) So I asked this question on Instagram and on Facebook. And a lot of you girls or listeners were like me. I personally do not have this problem with my suegra. Let me give a shout out to my suegra. You know, um, I, I've always loved, you know, loved her regardless. Um, she has her own opinions on stuff and that's good for her but as as a as a as a daughter-in-law we have to understand that 
they raised the man that we are madly in love with and they raised the man that in my case i'm married to and gave me two gorgeous kids so i can never talk ill about my mother-in-law not only that my mom is a mother-in-law and i would hate hate for my sisters-in-law to say anything snap snap <laughs> about my mother even though my mother's not like that she's very opinionated but when it comes down to relationships and all that she doesn't butt in because she didn't like it when my grandma dated to her so you know and you know i've seen my grandma my mother-in-law says the same thing i don't go visit anybody and i don't get in anybody's business because then they're gonna come back to me and call me vieja chismosa so i'm very blessed in that that area but yes i have heard stories i have another friend and you know um and i love her and she could write a book on the horror stories of her mother-in-law like on her snapchats she'll you know she'll post you know she's here we can we can which of the west and i'm like is it that bad no it's that bad i remember her telling me something like you know her daughter graduated and they got enough pictures you know enough to put on the wall because you know pictures graduation pictures are expensive and when she came over she made a big issue on why she did not get a graduation picture the big one why she only got a small one if she sees the big one i mean it's bad it's bad and and this one is bad and i'm going to tell you guys why this one is bad because she mentions that her husband changes his mind as soon as the mom gives an opinion and we were taught my my brothers and i were taught that once you have your own little family that's it that's it that is your new family my mom says it if you guys don't come visit me i'm okay with that because you guys have your own family i chose my husband it's mi esposo and that's the man i'm gonna live and die for the rest of my life now if you guys come and visit me that's a bonus but my life is your your dad now as you know a single couple in the sense of they don't have to look after kids other than the grandkids when they you know they babysit but that's how we were taught so in this case with my listener your husband needs to understand that his family is you your daughter and him period the mom the reason why the mom in my opinion is opinionated and she has everything and something to say every time is because tu esposo la está dejando the, the your husband exit on or you know um yeah exit on by always agreeing with her and giving in to her opinion and that's not right if anything a couple should do regardless if you're not agreeing with somebody at that time is either agree with your wife or don't say anything at all and then you take care of it behind closed doors because once you show no union everybody now will attack because now they know where your weaknesses lie and uh, you know apparently your husband weakness is your your uh, mother-in-law giving an opinion and him saying oh see you know it's the cat and that's a big big no-no um i didn't get any any advice from my facebookers a lot of them were um were like i said on my boat on the on the fact that you know they're not in the similar boat but they know of other people who are in similar boats i sometimes feel i don't know what i want to ask her and i'll probably do in a dm and i should have asked her is como era before was she always like this porque sometimes as you know when we meet a man and we really love him and like him and want it so bad to work we give too much um too much space for the mother-in-law to butt in you know like the mother-in-law says something and we're like oh you know because we don't want to upset her just yet because the relationship is new and god forbid she influences her son not to be with you so sometimes i feel we give in too much or we allow too much info to where the point that she feels like my opinion is needed because that's how it always been and now that you guys are together or married you know the opinion is really not needed another thing i will say is never get groseras with your mother-in-law even though even though they're not agreeing with you or they're like my listener they're the way they are don't get rude with your mother-in-law because before she's your mother-in-law she's an elder she's older than you and if you're raised the right way you know that se tienen que respetar 
a los mayores. You have to respect them. So never get groseras because then it becomes a bigger issue. I would sit down and talk to your, you know, if it was me, I would sit down with my husband. I'll say, look, you can't be doing that. It's not okay. I'm happy. I'm in love with my house. And she comes and finds a negative on everything we do. I need you not to agree with her. I don't know what's going on between you and her. I don't know why you're scared of her, but I'm your wife. And if anything, you always need to be sure you do in any kind of relationship, which is marriage or just, you know, courtship or anything, is you have to make sure that each person is given su lugar. Like if it's your wife, you make need to make sure that your wife is on that pedestal and everybody knows that, look, you see that? She she's up there for a reason so i'll consider your opinions but if i don't agree with them you need to you know stop it and he needs to put his foot down and be like mom you can't be like that respect her she is my wife the mother of my child so he needs to get a backbone and trust me once she sees that yeah she's gonna get butt hurt but if a mother really is the mother and loves their kid they're not gonna disown him for not having the same opinions with them And um, you just, you have to talk to them. You have to really talk to them like, hey, you made your life. You made your, your bed. Now it's my turn. And another thing, is your mother-in-law married or is, you know, the dad around? You know, and maybe talk to the guy. Or if you have a better relationship with the father-in-law, be like, you know what? It's not working. And lastly, I would tell you that if it still continues after everything, you know, you guys, you know, your husband deals with it or whatnot then maybe it's time that we start not having her over as much it sounds brutal very brutal brutal i know um i can't even say that word it sounds mean but sometimes the best solution to a problem is getting rid of that person and um you just gotta do what you gotta do for your own health and in this case for your marriage because it'll be the worst thing that a a, a um, household gets broken up especially with having a child because your mother-in-law no se puede callar or you guys don't know how to deal with her so that's pretty much what i have for you guys today i know i know this is a tough one like i said i really don't have any i always i have an example for everything that i um tell you guys about but not this one guys i don't know what to tell you you know good luck Um, if you guys want to drop in your two cents and let me know what you guys think, don't forget to download the app for um, Anchor and you can record um, your responses and I can, you know, transmit them if you want me or I could just paraphrase and tell this listener what her options are. Or if you were in the similar situation and you have some advice to, for her of how to get out of the situation and still be married, you know, drop it down. We will love to share that to my listeners. Till then, guys, this is all the time I have for today. Like I said, apologies again for not having a new um, episode last Wednesday, but we are back on track now. Leave your comments, thoughts, and opinions in my Instagram, Josie Says Postas Cabron, and I re will read all your guys' response on Friday. I'm very curious to see what I hear from you guys. Don't forget to check back in on Friday. And like always, Josie Says Postas Cabron. <laughs> Bye, guys.